Yes, the latest coming in from Bishkek has Prime Minister Modi's first multilateral summit after re-election. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization or the SEO summit kicks off and there's been a lot happening on the sidelines as Prime Minister Modi's visit started making news even before he took off. He decided to take a longer route to Bishkek. He did not fly over Pakistan. Instead, he flew over Oman, Iran and Central Asian countries to reach the Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz capital. Interestingly, it was day one of the SEO yesterday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is meeting leaders from other SEO countries. He held bilateral talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin and Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani. These bilaterals give a chance to the Prime Minister to resume dialogue with his counterparts from the SEO. The summit will be keenly watched for any interaction between Prime Minister Modi and Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. India has made it clear that there are no plans to hold talks with Pakistan, but this will be the first time that both leaders come face to face after the Pulwama attack. India has already made its stand on Pakistan clear to China. There was a brief discussion between Prime Minister Modi and President Xi Jinping on this issue. Prime Minister, in fact, said that we have a consistent position with respect to Pakistan. We uh, discuss all issues through a bilateral mechanism and we look for peaceful settlement through negotiation. We are committed to this process. The Prime Minister recalled that he has made efforts in this regard and these efforts have been derailed. The Prime Minister did inform President Xi Jinping that Pakistan needs to create an atmosphere free of terrorism and that at this stage we did not see this as happening as yet and that therefore we expect Pakistan to take concrete action on the issues that India has proposed, on the, in, the, in the areas of concern that we have flagged to Pakistan, that Pakistan should take concrete action in this regard. So beyond Pakistan, what is on India's agenda at the SEO? A lot. India's objectives at the SEO are wide-ranging, while they are primarily focused on outreach to Central Asia. The implications are global in nature. Let's also look at India's agenda items. A strong push to combat terrorism, boosting regional connectivity, improving regional security and exploring regional energy cooperation. So let's take a look at what is on the Prime Minister's schedule for the day. That is today at 9.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Prime Minister Modi will be arriving at the Alarka Presidential Palace of Bishkek. He will be meeting the President of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jormart. Soon after, this will be followed by a joint photograph of the head of the governments of SEO member states. At 10 a.m. Indian Standard Time, there will be a restricted format meeting of SEO leaders. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also be meeting President Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus and President Khaltmagin Batulga of Mongolia on the sidelines of this meeting at 11.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Now, the Prime Minister will be a part of the extended format meeting of the SEO leaders. There will be signing of documents followed by a group photograph of the leaders of the SEO member states and the observer states. At 3.25 p.m., Indian Standard Time, Prime Minister Modi will be holding his first bilateral meeting of the day. This will be with Iran's President Hassan Rouhani at 4 p.m. Prime Minister Modi will be inaugurating the India Kyrgyz Business Forum. At 5.50 p.m. Indian Standard Time, Prime Minister Modi will be holding his second bilateral meeting for the day. And this will be with the President of Kyrgyzstan, Jean Bakov. The meeting between the two leaders will be followed by delegation-level talks. This is expected at 6.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. There will be a, a signing of documents and exchange of agreements 40 minutes later. The Indian Prime Minister will implement for Delhi at 9.30 p.m. IST today. And so earlier we told you about Prime Minister Modi's bilateral engagements. Let's also start with China. India and China held delegation-level talks yesterday. It began with the Prime Minister thanking President Xi Jinping for his message after the general election results. Both leaders discussed all aspects of the bilateral relationship. Prime Minister Modi noted the progress they've made. They discussed ways to strengthen ties. Uh, the two leaders agreed that while the outcome of Wuhan 
uh, was a very positive one. It was necessary now to move the relationship forward into new areas. And therefore, the Prime Minister specifically conveyed to President Xi and he agreed that both sides need to raise our expectations from the relationship. And in that context, the Prime Minister welcomed President Xi Jinping to India for the next informal summit, the second informal summit after Wuhan. He said that both sides must prepare very thoroughly for this summit, that the outcome of the summit must meet the expectations of both sides. And President Xi Jinping very warmly confirmed his readiness to visit India this year. He said he looked forward to discussing all issues from a strategic and long-term perspective and that both sides should now begin intensive preparations for the visit. The Chinese president has accepted Prime Minister Modi's invitation to visit India later this year. This time, India will be hosting an informal summit between the two leaders. Later on Twitter, Prime Minister Modi said that he had an extremely fruitful meeting with Xi Jinping. He also wished the Chinese president a happy birthday. Xi Jinping will turn 66 on 15th of June this year. China was approaching this bilateral meeting with high hopes before the talks. Beijing had hinted that President Xi will raise the need to forge a united front against America. We are talking about the ongoing trade war, of course. The Chinese president is also expected to raise the issue of trade protectionism during the course of the summit. As far as India is concerned, it would like to make some more progress. And the two leaders have met more than 10 times in the last five years.